What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we are going to be showcasing my level 90 Venti. Now, uh, Venti has been an amazing character for me since day one. He's super, super good. Um, if you look at his stats right now, he uh, has 20%, well, 21% crit rate, 86% crit damage. And I know some people are going to say, hey, well, you know, don't you think he should have a little more crit rate? Well, the thing about Venti is... Um, his ult hits a lot, so he's going to be getting those crits in, along with using his E for, and it's off cooldown, you know, because it's, it's cooldowns, what, like four seconds or something? So I'm going to be using all of his abilities and stuff like that a lot, so I opted to go for something else, um, instead of crit rate. Like, on right now on the headpiece, I have attack, but that's because on my other piece, I have elemental mastery, which I'll show you guys. 170% energy recharge, and then we um, obviously have 61% anemo bonus damage with a 450 elemental mastery. His weapon is Stringless, which is level 90 as well. Uh, refinement 5, increased elemental skill, elemental burst damage. I feel like this is his best in slot weapon, period, right? Out of everything. Because he gets the elemental skill damage and burst damage increase, which is just super, super good. Uh, moving on to his artifacts. Um, I have full viridescent set, uh, attack percent, elemental mastery attack, and then it rolled into some defense, uh, crit rate, elemental mastery rolled into some defense and the energy recharge right here. The main stat is elemental mastery, energy recharge, HP defense, and then crit damage, a Nemo bonus damage piece right here with crit damage, energy recharge and crit rate on it. And then the headpiece, like I said, is attack percent with crit rate and then some attack. The reason why I went attack here is because I went elemental mastery here. Uh, if you look at my sucrose, on the timepiece, I have attack percent. And then on the headpiece, I have elemental mastery. So whether it's venti, sucrose, or vice versa or whatever, I have um, attack percent on one of them and then elemental mastery on the other one. So... Um, that's what I opted for over going crit rate headpiece or whatever. So, um, yeah. But anyways, that is my Venti. He has no constellations. Talent upgrade, 6, 7, 8. Um, I, I can get him up a little bit higher, but I need one more of these. And then this one right here. Uh, I have one. I could get this up, but uh, I'm probably going to get the uh, 8 to a 9. So, anyways, that is my Venti. And the best way I feel like to showcase Venti is Abyss. I could obviously go around and fight some normal mobs. But, you know, I can't do that. And then, as you guys know, the week did reset, uh, what, like two or three days ago. As far as all of these stages, this is like a fire unit check, right? This is like a fire unit check. This is just basically, a hey, you got a fire unit, you kind of beat it. Um, 11, which uh, is, is not that difficult either. It's not as much venti as more so it's going to be ka for me because of the bigger mobs, right? So I'll be used ka mostly on this floor. Uh, if you look at floor 10, floor 10 is also going to be one of those stages where I'm not using Venti as much. I'm going to more so be using other units, right? Because I usually put Venti on the first stage, I believe. Like right here, I'm not using Venti near as much. So um, number one, I have to do floor nine anyways, which I could have just did it real quick and then did it. But floor nine has mobs on every single stage, except for the last one, which I, I still use this because I think the... Geo Vishap gets sucked in. He just doesn't get like pulled up. So we're gonna be opting to use Venti as far as that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the teams together, which are gonna be this right here, Wind Buff as well. And then um, I'm gonna skip doing, you know, the last part of this, right? So I'm gonna skip uh, the Beto section. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So Elemental Burst Damage. Plus 20%. Very, very nice. Uh, my Venti and Sucrose are about to have a filled day. So, pop ult. E. E. Switch to Venti. E. Venti is... I have I have no... Um, I have barely any elemental mass... I mean, energy recharge substats, right? And even without having energy recharge substats or having, like, energy recharge as a main stat or on my weapon... I still get a lot of this uh, damage off, which is really nice. All right. Let me go ahead and pop that. Super, super good. Get the E done. Pop his ult again. 
took a little bit of damage there and we're done now we did that in about what 45 seconds super good so i'm gonna go ahead and see you guys in the next one so we got three stars on the first stage and now we're going on to the second stage venti has literally been so like the only time i use kaching on this team elemental burst damage increase again wow uh the the only time i use kaching on this is whenever there's like the big one the big mobs with like melees like that's that's whenever i use um okay go to venti go to sucrose get those wind particles sucrose is just really good with venti simply because um she gives him wind particles as well as him right so because they both do it super nice so like he already has his ult back pop the ult again Yeah, we're going to do this really, really, really quick. Also, let me know if you guys want to see a Sucrose um, showcase. I know a lot of you, I already know. I, I already know a lot of people are going to be asking about my Sucrose. So, um, if you guys want to see that, I can show you guys. I can do a video on that or something. She's only level 60 with a level 60 book, but she's maxed um, artifacts. So, yeah, let me know if you guys want to see that. All right, and we have three stars on this one as well. And now we're going to be going on to the last chamber so you guys can, sh you know, see Venti on that one as well but yeah like i said if you guys want to see some more oh my goodness i i did not plan this they have given me elemental burst damage three times in a row with venti this is actually like super nice even when fighting this though it's it's super nice to have venti okay because he can do stuff like this, right? So say I do that, and then I put the water in it. I'm getting a lot of, like, reactions off. Okay. Yo, why are you doing this? To Barbara. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and get this out the way. And we're done there. And right there, we have finished with three stars on the last one as well. Now, as you can see, Venti destroys Abyss. And I feel like that is where he's best used as far as, um, you know, his kit and everything like that. Now, obviously, you can fight mobs and everything like that outside of Abyss. But that's generally where he is used. Now, there's one other thing that I usually use Venti for, and I'm going to show you guys in a second. Now, when it comes to the ley lines, I don't think there is a unit in the game that does them better than Venti does. This man, Venti, <laughs> do you see this? I know some of y'all going to be like, ley lines? I don't ever do ley lines. Well, trust a. Hey, that's what I tell you, I do. And the fact that Venti clears them out so easily is is very, very nice compared to, like, most characters. Because whenever I'm farming ley lines, I want to get them done super, super quick. Like, I, I, if I'm doing a ley line run or grind or whatever, I don't want to have to take a lot of time to do them. I want to do them in 10, 15 seconds. And with Venti... It's possible. So, but anyways, that is the Venti level 90 
whatever showcase that's going to be for this video be sure to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you're new comment down below tell me what you guys did in the comment section below with that being said i'll see you guys next time peace